today we will learn about google earth and how to work with google earth at first we have to download this uh, software it is open source and freely available open your any browser and type here as google earth download and it will come this download latest version google earth for pc mac or other windows also and click this latest version it will bring one page and here is various terms and conditions if you want to go through this line by line you can better understand these terms and conditions and here one agree and download option click here select this tick this uh, smaller box and agree and start agree and download it will download your google art it is very easy to install only there is next next options and after then there will be appear one icon in desktop as called as google art pro so double click in this google art pro it will start this google art pro version in your pc so loading my place including the enable overlays so it will take just few seconds to open just wait a bit so I am closing this pop-up message and it has prepared already this Google Earth. So now how to how to search any place. For search any place there is a search option here search by name. So suppose I am searching here Mizoram University. So Mizoram University IJOL and hit this search option it will start to search your place so here is our Mizoram University the search result so this one Mizoram University so thus we can search various places from this Google Earth and also we can make placemark in any place suppose i want to make one placement here so for this here one pin click this pin icon one pin will appear and manually you can move this anywhere you want suppose i want this pin here and here we can put name of this place suppose i am i am putting this name as abc and from here we can change this icon color suppose i want this icon as red okay and this text color and the icon color also i want as red and okay so thus we can mark any place and how to collect lat long so to collect lat long we have to we have to move our cursor anywhere and at the bottom there is latitude and longitude also from here we can collect our latitude and longitude where we move our cursor there will any place it will show the latitude of longitude of this particular place at the bottom otherwise we can collect our latitude longitude by placing place mark anywhere and the place mark where we will place there will be one latitude and longitude bar from here we can copy this latitude and longitude and paste in word file or where we have need we can collect this latitude and longitude from here also we can collect elevation for elevation we have to move cursor anywhere where we want our elevation suppose i want my elevation from this top of this building so i am moving my cursor here so here it is showing 27727 this one here elevation in feet thus we can collect also the elevation now the next is how to measure the distance in length for this there is the rule bar here so we can select this ruler option and here line path polygon various options are available here suppose i want to measure this road length from here to here 
and here is the unit also available suppose i am measuring it in meter so i am selecting this meter unit and click click here and click at the end where you want so i am clicking here so it is showing 157.24 meter thus we can also create the polygon boundary area and we can also measure the polygon length and area so i am making my polygon here suppose i want to measure this boundary length so it is showing it is 192.39 meter and the area is 2326.22 square meter so thus we can measure the distance linear distance also make polygon and calculate the area under this polygon and also there is the circle by circle we can measure measure by creating the circle and also 3d path and polygon thus we can measure the length polygon area or boundary etc so the next how to create any polygon boundary and also bring it in arc environment to create better visualization or map or thematic layer for this we have to create one folder under this google arc i am making one folder here at this temporary place so select this temporary place and right click add and add one folder suppose i am selecting this folder and name naming it as study area study area and simply hit okay so under this folder i want to create one polygon and export it in arc environment so i am selecting polygon and here is the color style also uh, and also i can change the name of this polygon so i am not changing i am uh, keeping it as untitled polygon and there is also the color i can choose the out the boundary color of polygon and also from here i can choose the field color of this polygon from this color bar so i am not choosing any color i am at first i will digitize so i am going to start my digitization of surrounding area of this building of this department so i am digitizing this area okay so i have digitized digitized and it is my area and if i click this okay button it will automatically this polygon will completed so i am clicking here and this polygon has been completed now hi how to bring this polygon in arc gis environment to at first i have to save it or export it from here a save place as option so i am clicking here and here is my desired location under this d drive select i am selecting this uh, folder as uh, the folder name as suppose i want this one as in the drive in this sample folder under this sample folder and giving the name as area so in the i have assigned the name as area and it is in kmz format so saving this one so this file has been saved and now open this arc gis and from here i have to convert this kmz or kml layer to into uh, the layer format otherwise the kmz format is not supportable with arcgis to convert it i have to go with this uh, arc toolbar there is one tool called as conversion tool under this conversion tool there is kml layer from kml from kml there is kml to layer so i am converting it from kml to layer format so choose your layer 
so here the name was area which just we have created and open this one and output location i'm not changing it is uh, by default i'm going with by default and click okay this conversion has been started kml to layer and here is my kml to layer format which we have created just as the polygon format here in google earth so thus we can bring our any polygon from google earth to in this arcgis environment and create our study area and give proper thematic uh, data here and we can extract map from here from this extract option now we have created the kml to this layer format as the shape file now how to export this layer or this map for this we have to arrange at first at properly i am showing all these procedures just as the demo purpose and not properly accurately the thematic layer like thematic layer and for this we have to go this layer option this uh, after this layer option if we need to display the lat long then we will go to property and from property we will can create a new grid and the next is here we can insert a lot of things such as text such as legend not arrow here is available different styles not arrows we can select this and also place this one and like uh, we can insert the scale and from here we choose we can choose the scale change the properties layouts and after then ok and we can bring this uh, insert this scale so here from here also we can insert the legend option and after finishing all this task we have to export this one how to export go to this file option this one from this file option there is export map from here we can export this map as jpg format or png format and bmp format there is lots of available options and thus we can save this uh, uh, image and give we can give the name here and change we can change the resolution here and simply save it will save as the jpg or bmp in which format we want and now the next touch we will perform in qgis that that is in uh, it is qgis environment how to create this kml to save file here so, so for this we have to add this from this add option and under this add option because it is a vector layer so i am selecting this vector and i have to select or browse the kml layer so here are the kml layers which i have created in um, google art so from here i am selecting this one kml layer and add this one and it has come yeah so this one is my kml2 here it has appeared as dot kmz so i have to convert it as a zip file for this i have to select this one by left click and right click after then then export and save as in save as option there is file format lots of file format i want save file so i am selecting a three save file option and i can give the name here also so i am browsing here to select my output folder location so, uh, already it has uh, been selected as the new fold new volume of d under this d drive and under this sample folder it is i am giving the short name as dd ls and clicking this one okay and after then hit this button we can change here also the projection coordinate systems i am not changing this one and hit okay so the new layer appeared as ddls which i have created 
and this match message write box option for that is disappeared just now it is showing that our map has been prepared as the set file so i am removing this previous one and only our created layer is here so from here we can change the color also the of this map for this we need to move with this property option here the lots of uh, options and suppose i am choosing this color apply and okay so how to export this layer as the jpg format or image format for this we have to move with this project option under this project option there is uh, there is uh, another option that is called as uh, uh, new print layer so we will click this new print layer and we can name it and simply i am giving the name as dder and simply click ok this under this dder canvas automatically it is appeared and we need to bring this map here this one which we have created as a file for this we have to go this add item option select this add map second one and drag here it is appeared from this add option we can insert the scale bar also and from here we can insert the uh, north arrow also so from here we can create the arrow and we can create the legend so many things after then we can save it as the image format for this we have to go this layer option and export as image we can save also as pdf format and others so i'm going to export this as the image and from here i can choose the image format jpg or bmp or others and i can give here the name suppose i am giving this name as dder and down and saving it as in this download folder so i am saving this one and save okay now we can check our map which i have just saved from our desired location so this one which we have just created so thus we can bring the kml layer in this arc environment and we can create it as a zip file and also save it as the uh, image format so thank you